What is going on, guys? This is Mystic Spade, and I have a very, very, very special treat for you guys. Uh, first off, this is showcased in the theater mode for PlayStation 3 on Modern Warfare 3, and definitely, let me say for right off the bat, it is laggy and it is buggy as shit. Uh, it's not very smooth playing at all. Like, it looks like I'm playing a laggy match, but I really wasn't. But <clears throat> you're going to see the one reason why I'm uploading this gameplay. I, it was a solid gameplay on my part. I'm using uh, a SCAR with kick, the kick proficiency, and a red dot sight. Uh, perks are Slide of Hand Pro, Quick Draw, and Stalker. Love them. I, either, I think it was Stalker on this match. It was, either, uh, it was either Stalker or Marksman, but I do believe it was Stalker. Uh, strike Package is Assault. Uh, and one of the interesting things that some of you probably figured out by now, uh, but for those that don't know, you can actually... Uh, for each custom class you have, you can pick which strike package you want in that class. So that's very cool to me. And I did I did get a kick out of that. I was digging that. <clears throat> now, uh, one of the things that is kind of hard for me to get the grasp of in this game is, you know, like I played the first few games with the, with the support streaks or the support strike package. And I will say, love it. I love it to death. You know, uh, definitely it helps the team out. You know, it's really cool having, you know, at the time I was playing, it was just straight up default. It was UAV, SAM turret, and uh, what was the other one? Advanced UAV. Now, if you have a whole team running support streaks, you're going to you're gonna shit on some kids' faces. <laughs> you know, like, let's just put it simple, you know. Now, and I know some of you have been waiting, like praying to God for me to put up some Call of Duty content. And, and normally I would have uploaded my very first game, you know, no big deal. I would have done that, but this game was just so much better. Uh, there is a couple of moments where I camp their spawn point, you know, and but, you know, it's whatever. <laughs> you know, everybody does it. It's called a spawn trap. You know, I'm pretty sure a couple of you are familiar with that. And then one thing that I do like, even though there's no stopping power in this game, the guns do, do kill kind of quick, uh, especially if you've already taken damage. And this actually pissed me off. I was steadily firing at that guy. I should have just threw a grenade. I should have threw my Simtex. So I would have would have easily took him out. But nope, I decided to be an idiot. Uh, but anyways, uh, they, the guns do kill pretty quick, so I'm not really worried about there not being any stopping power. I get payback on this fucker right here. I don't get... I'm not really worried about, you know, uh, taking too long to kill someone. I haven't used a sniper rifle at all, so I can't answer the question on if it's good or not. I haven't used one yet. Uh, the only guns I've used... Uh, Multiplayer-wise are the, the M4, the M16, the SCAR, and the MP5. I haven't used anything else uh, besides my USP. Uh, I did my one prestige token that I had from Modern Warfare 2 prestiging. I decided to use for two hours of in-game double XP. <coughs> and I'm not turning back. I like it. Uh, I might unlock a custom class later. Or something like that for use. But as it is right now, as it stands, I'm really happy I chose to do my character double XP. I could have used it on the weapon, uh, as either or, you know, the weapon or myself. But I chose to level up my character. Uh, and contrary to belief, you unlock the specialist strike package at level 20. But it's just, it's probably better to start using it once you hit level 80. That way you have all those perks available to you. Uh, because as it is, you know, it's a... Uh, you're once you hit level 20 you're really only going to have like honestly like four or five six perks total that you're going to be running uh and i mean yeah it could could help out could be pretty cool but i mean i ha i just unlocked it i haven't really used it yet uh i'm going to look into it and check it out and this is my first predator of the game uh that's why you keep seeing like the 200s pop up whenever i kill someone it's because i chose to use it on double xp now, unfortunately, I was trying to have an old-school style LAN party here at my apartment. Uh, one of my friends from work came over because I took the first half of the week off for Call of Duty specifically. Uh, he came over and was trying to LAN party at old-school style, you know, hop on my internet and go shit on some kids' dreams. And it didn't really work that way. Like, we were having trouble getting into games. I don't know if anybody else has had this problem, but anytime I had a party, it was throwing me out like it was doing when Black Ops first came out. I uh, wasn't really too happy about that, so he actually wound up going home just so he could play, you know, and it's not that far of a drive, it's about a half hour drive, but still he drove a half hour over here, stood in line with me for like three hours, you know, and hung out, and then he had to go back home just so he could play, uh, but anyways, that's, that's a friend right there, guys, <clears throat> but anyways, 
<coughs> about to get the most amazing thing, and I'm going to call it first ever, first ever posted thing that's about to happen on this game. And I'm going to cut it out individually and open it or, and cut it up and upload it to some channel. But check this out, guys. This is the first ever quad predator in Modern Warfare 3. To my knowledge, first ever recorded quad predator in a TDM game. So I'm going to cut that. We're going to upload it. You know, I might send it to Machinima or something like that. So I'm definitely going to check that out. And I hope you guys enjoyed this gameplay. Uh, and some answers on theater mode. You cannot check the scoreboard at all while you're playing through it on theater mode. Uh, but at the end of the game, it does automatically show your score. So you're just going to have to settle with that. <laughs> I thought it wasn't even going to show that at the end of theater mode. But it, it turned out it worked out as cool. No biggie. And that's where that was not lag in the game. That was actual theater mode lag. Don't ask me why. Hopefully they patch it, check it out, whatever. Uh, but I was playing this game with my with my buddy Jeebus Platinum, uh, Colin, and then my my friend Tactical Ace. He's from my work. But yeah, we uh, decided to go in and you know shit on random some kids parades. You know it's pretty cool. But hope you guys enjoyed that quad Fred. This was Mystic Spade. Later, guys.